Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll talk about development store, how to create them, and what are the things you have to know. In our partner dashboard, we don't have any development store, so all you have to do is navigate to these stores. From here, you can create your first development store. Uh, to develop any app or theme, you must have a store with some data. So Shopify made it very easy to create development store, give you a URL and SSL. In the past, development store used to be, um, you, can, you could connect a domain to a development store and you could publicly use that. And Shopify provide you the SSL, it, it will let you do a lot of things, except you could not place order. That was very good, like for, let's say I have an agency, I'm not accepting any payment, that's just the landing page. I could use a development store, connect my domain and use it, but now it has changed. If you want to create a development store, it has a it is password protected. Only those who have the password can access, which is something that I didn't like. Let's create a development store and start seeing how we can test some data. From here, it is just asking you some basic question. For example, creating it for a client. If you are creating a development store for a client, choose this one because it will be transferable. But if you choose the other one, you can uh, make it like non-transferable but for now let's create a test and uh, this is a test and it is going to be non-transferable from here what is the difference if you select non-transferable you can select some dummy data also if you go with the release version you can later transfer it to a client and since we don't have a data i'm going to go with developer preview and developer preview you have access to the features that you don't normally have in a development store because when you create this for um, a client, after three months, you are going to launch it. So on that three months, you can add all your product, all the product description, collections, and design all the pages, and that will be completely free for that um, client. There is other way that client directly sign up through Shopify. That is a separate um, way of creating a Shopify store. For now, let's give it a name. I have not thought of any name, so for now, let's uh, create a uh, Code Inspire. Ah, oh, Code Inspire is available in here. Oh, it's not available. Code Inspire um, app diff. If I give it a space, it is going to create a um, unique domain for me with a Shopify extension on it. Dot myshopify.com. I think that is good name to start. I will go with the developer preview because we are going to test a lot of new things, especially on checkout in the future. But for now, yeah, just select that. And from here, it is going to ask you which new feature you want to test. Global navbar, checkout and customer ex extensibility, and cart transformation. Let's go with checkout because I will create some checkout extensions too. So let's go with that. And the next option is start with an empty store or some dummy data. Data like it is going to create some empty like some products, some collections, some orders that will speed up your development. So let's go with some data. You can also go with the clean store, it does not have anything. So let's go and create this store. The product that Shopify creates are not the nicest, they are just, just random products. They didn't um, add like two or three images for each video, they don't have a proper size, and yeah, you can create your own. Um, products if you create a demo store uh, similar to what I did for my apps but these products are just simple and easy to sell this is the store that we have and this is um, the store URL so user can access it if you come here this is the home page you can see all the overview uh, of this store we can go to the order product customer contents we'll talk more about them in the um, next video but for now, let's go to online store. If you hover over this, you see this eye icon. You can click on this and it will take you to the storefront. For now, you might see this because this is a newly created Shopify store. So you cannot access it from here because the DNS are, I think, is still not set up properly. But this is another way to, you can access this. Click online store. In here, you will have access to your themes. So it is still creating and yeah. This is showing the preview. You can click customize and it will take you to the theme customizer. This is one of the nicest thing about Shopify. The theme customizer is so good. Like it is so easy to customize the theme from here. Not only customizing, the developer experience for creating a new theme and adding all these options is so simple and easy. We will talk more about them in the future video, but for now, 
you have to understand the team customizer in here is such a good thing that Shopify added if you scroll down you have more themes in here we will talk more about them in the future video but for now this is how you can create a development store and start adding your own product your own orders and your own content so in the next video we will talk more about it so i'll see you in the next video thank you